I already started recording. Um, I am just trying to turn on the volume. So for those of you who already saw the, um, can you guys see that? No, you can't. That's weird. There we go. Uh, for those of you who saw the video, um, talking about Ran. All right, here we are. We're gonna pull for him. Um, in the video, I kind of mentioned I didn't like Ran, <clears throat> and I still don't. But I mean, you know, may as well pull for him, right? Like, especially like it's really funny to me that like. He's right here, right next to Kisei, when they kind of fulfill the same role. Like, the gear you're going to put on G on Kisei is the gear you're going to put on Ran. Oh, but you can see I don't have Pity up there, so I'm probably just going to do these one at a time, and I got a bunch of other summons I got to do, so... Um, I'm going to do them in addition to that. Uh, I'm feeling really lazy, so I'm probably just going to, like, buy the Skystone packs. Um, even though I shouldn't. But, um... Let's go do this Moonlight Summon real quick. Ooh, let's see what we got. If it's, um... I want A-Ravi, because a Ravi's next in the rotation. Oh, I didn't get anything. That's fine. Uh, I still need ML Kawana. She's, like, one of the few four stars I don't have. Um... So we're gonna do a couple Mystic Summons as well. <clears throat> uh, hopefully we get them soon. Um, we've been kind of hitting pity on the last few. And it wasn't it wasn't necessarily a, uh, a bad thing. It's like I was summoning for and I haven't filled up my barracks so that, that is what it is um, It wasn't necessarily a bad thing because I was like summoning for Landy and you know, we kind of got 50 50 there um, But yeah, you know, hopefully we just have a little bit better luck You can kind of see this one's a little more a little less structured like I don't have enough bookmarks. I like I haven't filled my barracks. It's Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. We're like, I think, I guess I'm like, it's, it's a little, it's a little late for that now, but hopefully I didn't come off as like, what's the word? Insinuating that you have to pull for his artifact. Um, cause it's not like good enough that you want to hunt, like it's only useful at a hundred percent, right? hundred percent chance. Um, which I guess that's something I, I forgot to consider. Because if it's like anything under that, it's like basically useless. Now, granted, it gives him extra attack percentage, which is fine. But it's, again, it's like, who cares? Like, I'd rather have like anything else. Maybe like, I think doesn't Shepherd of the Hollow give you attack percentage or something? Like, like one of those artifacts, you know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of those thief artifacts. Um, so yeah, like if you're going to run that artifact, it's going to be for the, the, the soul reduction. Um, and it's like, you only get that 100%. So it's like... Unless you have uh, a max imprint in one or whatever, there's really no point to using it. And, you know, so I didn't mean to, hopefully it doesn't come off that way in the video. I didn't mean to suggest that you wanted the, the artifact. It's just that if you have the artifact maxed out, then, you know, that's probably what you're going to, you know, the best one to use. Come on, just be him already because I just want to get out of here. Nope. More Kiwanis. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I didn't, nobody took that as a, oh, you should go in there and like go all in for the artifact because it's, it's like I said, it's good if you have it max, but it's not like you should go in there 100% for it. It's not that good. Um, I, just, I really just want to buy uh, the Covenant Summon packs or whatever. Is that all I have? Okay, so we're just gonna do a couple of these real quick and then I'm gonna probably pause it and go uh, Secret Shop refresh a couple more times. I'm actually, okay, well, I probably shouldn't have pulled there, but like, I'm actually not sure what I should do because I really do want uh, a Ravi as well. Crit Chance, Fighting Spirit, 10 Fighting Spirit. Increases 15%, yep, so all that stuff is in there. Um, but yeah, she's like really strong now. Um, especially like in RTA, they're, they're building her, like you either build her fast or you build her um, on counter, right? It doesn't really matter which, but you, you do one or the other. And then <clears throat> she's, she's hitting people with um, injury. And then if RTA, like she's designed to go, she's designed to be here for the long, like, you know, the long fight, like last a really long time. 
Um, and the longer it goes, she's going to do more damage, and she's also going to um, be, like, she'll be fighting people with, like, only 50% of their health bar left, right? And then you just come in here and execute somebody with this. It's like, she just, I just want her so much. But <laughs> Bellion is here, too. Um, yeah, I, I, like, I really wanted uh, a Ravi back when she came out. I think I still have the summoning video of when I tried to pull for her, but didn't get her. Um, so I think I'm just gonna um, wait until a Ravi's here, and then probably just pull for a Ravi. Um, though I wanna, I wanna make mention here that the again, as always, the first rotation sucks. Nobody cares about this. No one's gonna use that ever. And uh, she's she's pretty good. I have her on my Wyvern team, but I kind of took her off to replace her with um, Corinne because just Corinne's better. Um, now that she has an EE. She's still pretty good too, but Corinne, like the fact that she puts on bleeds and and she has like an every every other turn she puts a defense break up is is not too bad. Like the fact that it's two turns isn't that big a deal on Lulika's, because if you're running like the G perg setup, like the CR push you get basically just bunches everyone up, so they all take their turn at the same time, uh, and because your defense breaker is going to be the fastest, they're going to go first. So if it's one turn, it's not that big a deal. Um. So yeah, hopefully this rotation changes. Uh, it, you know what would be really cool? If it was like a Ravi <laughs> and Violet. Oh my gosh, that'd be dumb. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Let's just do a 10 pull here. Come on. Oh my gosh, we got nothing. Well, we got an Aether, which is... I needed one more Aether to do the, the thing. This is a bad idea. I hate doing this, but I've kind of resigned myself to just taking the A Ravi over the the Bellion. Plus, I get to see what's after A Ravi. I think Bellion's great, but if if it wasn't A Ravi, basically the point is, if it wasn't A Ravi, it'd be Bellion. But I've wanted A Ravi for so long that um, I just can't be asked to to not get her now that she's available again. Hey, there's Acadies. Acadies is actually really good. Um, I just don't have the gear to use her. But yeah, she's she's like the invincibility with the like full cleanse and everything is just good. And like one of the main things that I love about her is the the um, the one turn reduction thing, the the skill cooldown reduction. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure. So one of the things that I kind of asked myself when, when pulling for this guy and, and, you know, let's see if I get any good artifacts. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Rider Amaryllis. This is the one with the, um, non-attack skill. Yeah. So I'll probably just put that on, um, on my Amomo. Cause she already, I mean, it's already on her, but I'll probably just like imprint it. Um, was the same. But one of the things I kind of asked myself was like, she does kind of fulfill a lot of the same purpose that Kisei does, but unfortunately Kisei already has Mola. Um, and just in general, like, I, you know, I asked myself, will I replace Kisei with him? And I'm not entirely sure just because I don't really use Kisei that much to begin with. And whatever I do use her for, um, it's basically just to counter uh, Strays or uh, what's her name? Carrot or Carrot. So like, Kisei does something very specific with the re the reset that he doesn't do. Um, and I don't really use her for the damage as much, though the damage is pretty good. Wait. Ten, okay. Oh man, we're not I'm not even I don't, I'm not even sure I'll be able to make it to pity. Uh let's come over here. Nope. I think so, right? I don't know, I have no idea. Let's go summon. I'm still not sure what I want to run um, uh, a Ravi on because while like traditionally she's always been a counter set unit, um, but that's because back then people used to like, oh, you want to run a counter set and then like run her high effect resistance. But people are running like debuffs are so strong these days that like effect resistance is basically worthless because um, it doesn't do very much. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so pissed if he's in these last like 10 pull made me go all the way to the end for no reason. I'm not even, like, it's not pitying him, 
Yeah, like if he's in here somewhere, it's gonna be annoying. But like you don't pity him, but they're still making you like. Um, like I said, he doesn't fulfill the same purpose. So even if like, you know, later I get more molas or whatever, which I'm probably not going to get. Um, I don't know if I'm going to replace Kisei with him just because what she does is so like specific to her and, and, you know, I need her for that specific reason. Um, yep. So I guess let's go back. We got a bunch of these. I guess I should summon, I guess just I should pull these stones. Because, um, oh man, I have no more bookmarks. So, <laughs> there we go. A uh, job again. Uh, I'm going to get him eventually. Um, so, I guess you can kind of like, I'm not going to, he's not going to come out very often. I, I'm just going to pull these just because if I'm going for A-Ravi, um, Belly and Merges aren't too important anymore. Let's go get some four. We got like, what, six Moonlight Summons? Maybe we'll get Bellion in there. Oh, I gotta pick these up. See, so, yeah, I can buy these, but I don't use strays enough to, like, really care. And then, like, my strays isn't to the point where he's, like, optimal or suboptimal. What do we have in here? Do we have anything new? No, this is still what it is. My strays isn't to the point where, like, like when he if, he, if you're trying to get him to be, like, as min-max as possible... Then of course uh, those imprints are going to be necessary. But mine is just like I just dumped everything to attack and like crit damage. Um, so the fact that I don't have like you know the extra few imprints isn't a bad thing. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was like I went here. This is the first place. Oh no, it's only four. I'm stupid. Uh, I went here. And um, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I was like I went here first, and I was like where am I? Where am I going? And then I went through everything, and I. Couldn't figure it out. Let's see if we get anything. Okay, more shiny. If I had a dupe, that'd be pretty go cool because I don't have um I don't have enough galaxy coins to pity one from the coin shop, so either way it'd be nice. So here's Watcher Shuri, the ten thousandth of them I've received already. Okay, so that's already three shines in a row, so I guess I can't really complain. Cause a lot of people do these and it's like no shines whatsoever. Like, I've done these where it's like six in a row and it's just like nothing. Um, and it's still not the one I need. All I need is ML Kawana and it won't give her to me. I also want Camilla's. Um, but I'm not going to get them. Okay, so we didn't get anything out of that. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, this, <laughs> this, uh, this summoning session was kind of uneventful. Hopefully... There was enough summoning going on that, like, it was appreciated by somebody, but, um, yeah, I'll get him eventually, and, uh, gotta get my Sky Stones back up, so after him, I guess I'm saving, though, we're probably gonna get some kind of weird, um, Halloween unit after him or something like that, just because, like, he just seems really strong. Uh, to not get something, like, to not, like, want to suck our money out, and he has, like, those little eye things that, uh, I forgot what his, I don't remember what his actual name is, but the guy who's holding Sukuna inside. Uh, whoever that guy, whatever that guy's name is, the one holding Sukuna. He has those weird eye things where Sukuna's eye comes out. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, hold on, I'm just going to burn out these Sky Stones. I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. It'll be instant for you guys, though. <laughs> okay, uh, so all that uh, Sky Stone refreshes <laughs> only got us... Uh, Two regular bookmarks and um, no mystic medals. So let's just get in here and uh, summon this guy uh, in the next two. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Okay, let's let's see. Because if this is a shiny, we're probably gonna get a shiny. We're probably not gonna get a shiny after this. Let's do some. Yeah. See. So <laughs> yeah, there was. There's no way. Um. So yeah, that's that. Hopefully it was uh, enjoyable to some degree. Um, we got a lot of... We got baited by the Moonlight Summons uh, pretty hard there. Uh, three shinies, but nothing uh, worth anything. Actually, I want to go see what's in the, in the coin shop rotation. The next video <clears throat> is probably going to be... Um, oh, this is sad. See, these, these are like two really, really strong units that you kind of need. Because when you're in RTA, a lot of times like... Like in RTA, you need options and you need counters to certain things, right? 
Um, but you can't just have like, okay, this unit kind of counters this. It's like, nah, like you need some of the best of the best that counter that specific thing. So Blood Haste is one of the best revival counters. No, I think she's, I think he's just the best. Yeah, I think he's the best one. Uh, but Blood Haste is the best revival counter. And Little Queen Charlotte is like the best single target, like just dark nuker. Like nothing survives her, right? Like if, if, if you have too many darks and they bring Little Queen Charlotte, unless you kill her, right? If you, if you can find a way to kill her off, then, you know, by all means. But like if you can't, like she like she's just going to destroy the whole team. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, these are two very good units that you, you kind of want. Is like two very strong. Um, they have one specific thing that they do very well, but like they do it to a degree that no one else even measures up. It's like, oh, you can kind of use, um, like, Euphine. She's a good nuker. Uh, you can use this person. They're a good nuker, whatever. Nah, no one no one matches up to Little Queen Charlotte's, like, like the threat she brings to dark units. Like, you can't bring... Like, dark units kind of fall off a little bit. Like, if you look at a lot of RTA stuff, some dark units fall off a little bit because Little Queen Charlotte exists, and it can get chosen at, all, at any time. The only ones that are, like, really strong, right, are MLCC because she brings a barrier... And she's so tanky that, like, she can take a hit, and even then, it's a 50-50, because some Queen Charlottes can just one-shot a 30k a thirty k HP, uh, what's her name? But you can still bring her in, because it's not gonna, like, you lose her, and then she takes that hit, and then the rest of the teams can kind of go, and hopefully you can deal with the little Queen Charlotte. Um, again, Blood Muhais is another example of one that's, like, so strong that, like, he's probably gonna die to her, and she, he usually does, but hopefully he does something ahead of time. Um, and like Arby, where she just nukes Arby, and it's like Arby doesn't care because he wants to die all the time anyway. Like he'll he'll take first turn, she'll let nuke him, and then he'll die, and then he'll take another turn, right? So, you know that's why Arby's not too bad. But like you can see that there's not a lot of like, am I saying dark unit? Like and then the other the other means like Estenabria, right? She's she's really good, but you can't hit her with Little Queen Charlotte. So a lot of the dark units have kind of not built-in counters to Little Queen Charlotte, but like they survive, right? There's a lot a lot of, a lot of the you don't see like there's certain dark units that you don't see because. <laughs> She just, she just dumps on him. Like, you just, can I bring this unit? It's like, no, she's gonna, they're gonna die. Like, they're just gonna die. There's no other way. Fortunately for me, I already have both. Uh, my little Queen Charlotte isn't as geared to the point as I, as I need to have her geared. But I have both of them, so that's good. I just gotta save up these and then wait till someone else comes by. I guess I'll probably wait till little Queen Charlotte, or wait till Bellion comes back in the rotation and then just take her here. Probably by this time, she'll have a buff the same way Ravi did when she came in the Mystic Shop. Or the galaxy shop or whatever. Um, but yeah, so she'll probably have a buff by then. And then, you know, he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so the next video I'm probably going to do is going to be... Uh, is likely going to be um, crafting stuff. Because uh, I, I still have the stuff from the hunt event. Because the hunt event ended and then I started working. Um, and, you know, that's been taking up a lot of my time. You can see I even have like a bunch of like... I've just been logging in to get all my... Um, as much of the stamina as I can before it runs away. Um... But yeah, so that'll probably be what I'm going to do. I'm also going to just roll that piece I have from the event because I'm not going to get a better one. Um, yeah, and I want to do that on camera, so that's there's that. Uh, so yeah, until that's good for me. It's going to be right now. I'm about to do it, but for you guys, it's going to be like another day until that video comes out. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. We'll see you guys then.